Well, good evening. We've had a good time caroling. I did not. My voice, as you can tell, is not great. Um, but we are certainly glad that you're here tonight. Um, you know, we've, for the last few years, we've done a Christmas drama. And tonight the drama is Star in the Night. So I know you're going to have a wonderful experience tonight. So why don't we pray and uh, just give the night over to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the shut-ins we were able to bless with uh, caroling. And God, we certainly do think about those this time of year uh, who are, who are uh, struggling, shut-in, failing health. God, we pray that, um, God, that this church family can bless them in many ways. And uh, God, we thank you for the many things we've been able to enjoy this Christmas season. And tonight, I pray that you would help us to enjoy this play and that the message of this play would be communicated, not only to our head, but to our heart. And uh, God, we pray that uh, we would leave this Christmas season with a much deeper appreciation of what you have done for us. And so, God, be with us tonight. Even in this play, we, we ask you to make this a time of worship. In Jesus' name, amen. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Now, Pete, we are a fine example of three full-grown hombres. <laughs> Just uh, look at them pretty doodads in the store, you say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, home clean up the whole store we did. Yep, I'm trying to make a, a good impression on that sales gal. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, partners, we just are toting all these presents. Now, who do you suppose we're going to give them to? Oh, shoot. I never took no heat from that pretty girl that sold us these things. All I knew was something inside made me, made me feel fine and warm like to be doing it. Mm -hmm. To be buying these presents, to give to somebody. And I knew it was the right thing to do, and I was contented. Hey, look over there. You know what I just saw? What? Thanked if I could see anything. R right over there. There it is again. Look at that there star. Never did see a star as big and bright as that one. And it's low. Let's mosey over and see what it's doing there. Shine the everlasting light. 
here I am believing like a fool. Doggone thing. I can't trust nobody anymore. Hey, hey, who's there? Evening. Some sign you've got there. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's why I bought it secondhand from a, a ranch down the road, Lone Star Ranch. I put it up. I've been working on it all day, trying to get it to stay lit. I don't want to. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, I think that's got it. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, pretty good, huh? Nice and bright and big. There'll be people to see it for 20 miles away. Yeah, and everybody will come to Nick's place. Star Auto Court. Yeah, they'll come. Spend lots of money, too. Yeah. Whew, it's pretty cold up there, though. Yeah, pretty cold standing out there on the road, too, this time of night. Especially when you're hitchhiking. Hey, uh, what do you want here? Well, I'm about half froze to death standing out there trying to catch a lift. Thought maybe I could go inside and warm up a bit. Maybe you could spare a hot cup of coffee. Now, this ain't no flop joint. I don't do free lunches. Okay. I, I thought maybe, you know, tonight everyone would want to show a little goodwill. <laughs> goodwill. Goodwill. There's no such thing as goodwill. You see that star up there? Cost me plenty of money. Even secondhand cash. I couldn't buy it with goodwill, could I? You can't buy anything with goodwill. Okay, mister. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah, it's not a very Merry Christmas for me. I might be the only fella that doesn't like Christmas. You know what? I hate it. What's the matter with it? What's the matter with it? Huh. Everybody's all mean and squeezing their money. And all of a sudden, it's Christmas. And everybody's all smiles and fake faces. <laughs> but not old Nick. I'm no phony. Listen, why's everybody got to act all different just because it's Christmas? That's because you can't get away from it. Because the true meaning of Christmas is peace, brotherhood, and love. <laughs> Seems to me that's the remedy for all the world's troubles. Oh, it does, does it? Let me tell you something about peace, hey, brotherhood, you, and love. Hey, Nick, I have been asking you all afternoon, ever since that shindig started in the cabin next door to mine, to tell those people to be quiet. Oh, singing and all. I've got to get up at 5 a.m. I have got to get some sleep. Do you understand me? My dear woman, I don't hear anyone singing. Of course you don't. They're just getting their second wind, and you probably don't have all their junk tossed out the window right in front of your cabin either. So here's a sample of it. See how you like it. Ma'am, it's all over the place. Yeah, peace, brotherhood, and love. It's a lot of baloney. Hey, Rose, Rose. Come out here and see what this woman's doing. She's causing a lot of trouble for me. Oh, Nikki, take it easy, please. This is, people are people, Nikki. What's going on here? Oh, nothing. Just some shirts that belong to Mr. Dilson. And what, what about them? What do you think? Look, each one of these shirts cost me five bucks new. Five dollars. This is the first time they've been to the laundry. Is this the way to get them back? Oh, what's the matter with them? I suppose you can't see what's the matter with them. Look, is this the way to iron the collar of such a nice shirt? And I suppose you have an excuse for this one. Look, plain, deliberately torn, right there. These are expensive, nice new shirts. First time in the laundry. Well, uh, what can I do about it, huh? It's a service. They take the shirts away, they clean them, they bring them back. I don't even have anything to do with it. We'll get them fixed right up for you, Mr. Dilson. We'll have them send them back and do it over, okay? Well, you better tell them these are expensive shirts. And I also want an adjustment made on the one that's been torn. You know what? Maybe if you, maybe if you did business with a better laundry, yeah, you wouldn't get such a good commission, but you'd have more satisfied customers. I guess that's some more of the peace, brotherhood, and love business, huh? <laughs> yes? I'd like a cabin for myself and my wife. You got one not too close to the road. Uh, pretty full up tonight, but uh, we got one cabin left. Well, okay then. Sign here. Better make sure about the hot water, dear. Remember how you couldn't shave at that last place we stopped at? Yeah, how about that? Plenty of hot water? Oh yeah, all the time. I don't jip nobody. That's another thing. These places are never warm. We'll want some extra blankets. No, lady. Each cabin is nice and warm, guaranteed. We've never had any complaints about that. Well, you better just give us a couple of extra blankets. <sighs> I'm telling you, no one needs an extra blanket. 
Each cabin is nice and warm. Listen, if everybody was like you, I would need a million blankets. That's why each cabin's got a fine blanket itself. No one needs an extra. I've got a fine idea. My own blankets. They just come out of the laundry. Come along. I'll take good care of you. You see, you just have to insist on what you want in a place like this. That's right, my dear. Well, Mr. Merry Christmas, I guess that's more of that peace, love, and brotherhood. That's shame on you for being such a fool. You're wrong, Nick. You only believe what you see. But what does that prove? Just because we don't see the stars in the daylight doesn't prove that they're not there. Everybody has been rubbing you the wrong way. That's all. Say, I've been running up against all kinds. The bad ones and the good ones. And the good ones will make a man forget all the rest. Well, that's a nice thought, but uh, it doesn't prove anything. And see, I run across all kinds as well. Mean and greedy and, and you know, they only act good for one reason. To get something out of you. Oh, sure, they behave nice, but it's only for their benefit. Believe you me. You mean to tell me that you think people don't have any fine feelings? Huh? Nick, you know better than that. Imagine what the world would be like if there weren't any women in it, like, like Rose. No good in people. Why, the good in people will be warming the hearts of the world a thousand years from now. Ten thousand years from now. And tonight, people have songs on their hearts. And they're beginning to renew their strength and courage for what may come. That is the real meaning of Christmas. They're singing again. Nice, huh? That Miss Roberts, she's not going to like it. But I like it. Can we come in, please? Yes, come. It's a boy and a girl. She looks sick. Let me get you a drink of water, okay? It'll make you feel much better. I'm Jose Santos. This is my wife, Maria. From far away, we see your star. And I didn't think we could make it. We had to leave the car and walk, and I was sure we'd freeze to death in the desert. Everything's going to be all right now. We'll get a cabin, and you can rest. Uh, there's no more room here. We're all full. I, I have money if that's what you're worried about. But, Nikki, we're in the desert. We're so many miles from anywhere else. Where are they going to go? Is it my fault there's no more room? Listen, if they want to come in and warm by the fire and rest a little while, well, that's fine by me. But, Nikki, she needs more than rest. She needs a little sleep, too. Okay, so she needs sleep. What are we supposed to do? Don't you understand? There's no place. But, Nikki, there is a place. Nikki, there is a place. Where are you going to put them? Upstairs, under the roof somewhere? No. Why can't we just let them use the little shed? It's nothing fancy. Just a little barn. Any, any place, any place. Fine. Then you can sleep. It's a nice little place with lots of hay, and it smells so good. So you're going to put them in the shed? Sure, I'll fix them right up. Come along, I'll show you. You got anything decent to eat? Sure, it's decent. Well, what do you got? I'm hungry. Everybody thinks my Nicky's such a tough guy, but life's made him like that. Long time ago, I was in town, and there was a horse that had broken his leg, and there was a man, and he was crying, just because he felt so sorry for the horse. And I asked them, what's that man's name? They said, Nick Johnson. So I went home, got a piece of paper, and wrote, Rose Johnson. And I liked it, so I married him. <laughs> Not as good as a cabin, maybe. But you should be nice and comfortable. Oh, everything's going to be fine. Sure. You'll, we'll fix you right up. You go in and tell my Nikki to warm up some milk and get some extra blankets, okay? I'll be right in. Not bad, is it? Mm. A little wine? This would seem like a regular Christmas dinner, wouldn't it? You need something? Uh, yes, your wife said to find some blankets and warm up some milk. Blankets. There are no more blankets. I guess I'm supposed to run a department store here, too? Nikki. Oh, Nikki. What's the matter, Rose? You, Miss Creed. No, really? 
Oh, that poor kid. Hey, what's going on here? Well, what are we going to do? Is there a doctor? No, there's no doctor. Can you help me? Oh, yes, please. Of course, but you're going to have to tell me what to do. Nikki, lots of pans. Fill them up with water. Can you start a fire on the stove, please? We'll need lots of clean towels. You'll find them in there. M Maria, it's Maria. She's going to be all right, okay? You just stay right here. Nikki, can you make him a cup of hot coffee, please? And Mr. Creek, can you stay here and talk with him? What? Well, well, my boy, have a seat. Take it easy. Everything's going to be all right. I'll help you. <laughs> oh, this is a fine thing. Tell everybody everything and not me. I'm just a nobody around here. Oh, Nikki. Come on, let's go. Are you or are you not going to tell them to be quiet so I can get some sleep? What's all this? Oh, is that right? Well, here, let me help out. But, Miss Roberts, you have to get up at 5 o'clock. Don't you need your sleep? Nonsense. Who would I be to be sleeping in when I could be helping out? Let's go! Oh, dear. Come on back to the cabin and get that extra blanket. We'll just do without. Yes, dear. Be right back, son. I'll get you that cup of coffee. Thanks, Nick. Clean sheets! Ah, uh, they're in there. Okay. Hey, you got any pipe tobacco? Yeah, what kind do you like? Oh, uh, well, let's see here. Long. Hot water, quick! Oh, 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 oh excuse God. me, please. Okay. Here are the blankets. What's, the, what's the matter with everybody? They're running, hopping around like a bunch of... No fooling. Yeah. Better make it cigars then, and um, give me a couple. Now uh, they're two for a quarter. How do you like that? I'm buying cigars instead of him. Congratulations. Thank you. Here, have one on me. I need more stuff for bandages. There's no more clean sheets left. Hey, get those things off down from there. Yeah, yeah, those. But Mr. Dilson. So what? Skip it. Look, these things make the best bandages in the world, okay? <laughs> See? Just like that. See? Here. Oh. Why not? I mean, look at all you're doing. You know what? I had you figured all wrong. You're not such a bad guy after all. I, I haven't done anything, really. Howdy, folks. Quite a star you got out there, partner. Lights up half the county. Yeah, we were just moseying on in the desert when we seized that there star. Followed it for ten miles. More than that, even. Howdy, ma'am. What was that? Sounded like a... Nikki, it's a boy. Oh, a boy? <laughs> well, that's great, my How boy. How does it feel to be a father? <laughs> hey, a little tight. Pretty good, eh? Can I go to them? Can I see Maria? You can. You can see them both. Hey, guys, we're going to celebrate. I got a little something special. Everybody's getting some of this. Oh, boy. Woo! All right. <laughs> glass. Hey, I was just thinking, we got all this stuff here. You think the baby would like to have them? Sure yeah. would. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Come on, everybody. Let's go see the baby. <laughs> hey, cheers. 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 All right. I've never seen a new baby. <laughs> Did you ever see a new baby before? Oh, sure, lots of times. <laughs> I never have. Well, Nick, thanks for the coffee. Thanks for the warm up a little bit, too. Yeah, it was nothing. Uh, just forget about it. Well, better be going now. Hey, wait a minute. Let me get you something to eat before you go. I appreciate it, but I gotta be going. Now, wait, wait. It's pretty cold out there. Take this. 
but it's yours. Yeah, well, it never fit me right anyway, and I was just going to throw it away. Yeah. Uh-huh. Looks good. Thank you, Nick. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Nick. Sure. 